Okay, we are recording. <clears throat> All right, good morning. So today we're going to look at how we could use a spreadsheet to track the income and the expenses for a business. And you're going to be doing this for your unit project with our garden. We're going to treat that like it's a business. Oh my gosh, you want a fishing business. As if you were selling the produce from the garden. And you have expenses too, and I'll help you out with what those are or were. Okay, so this is my pretend, oh, where'd it go? We lost the casting. This is my pretend fishing business. Let me try to recast here. <clears throat> okay, guys. Here we go. Okay, little review of some terms. What do I have highlighted here? It's called a uh, column. No. This little no. box. Yes, cell. Oh, very good. Okay. And you already said the address. This one is F5. Okay. What is this? That's a column. And what is this? Okay. What is this? Range. Range. Good. Yeah. So. Rows, columns, range, cell, and you know the address. Okay, um, so what I've done is put some labels here in column A and then some numbers in column B that correspond to the labels next to them. Remember, we, also, we always want to separate words and values, numbers, in separate cells because we're going to do math with the numbers, but we can't do math with words. That doesn't really make sense. Okay, so I've got a fishing business. Good morning, Isaac. Uh, I don't actually, but let's pretend that I have a fishing business. And if you want a fishing business, you probably need a boat. And if you're gonna buy a boat, either you need a whole bunch of cash or you need a loan from the bank. And if you get a loan, that means they give you a big sum of money, say they give you $50,000 and you pay them back every month for the next maybe 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. Okay, so I've just kind of made this up. I mean, I did, I did look at a loan calculator online and kind of got a, a rough estimate, but I said that our monthly payment, my monthly payment for the boat is gonna be $1,200. And I'll be paying that every month for 20 years or something like that, okay? Um, here I put trips per month. So this is how many groups can I get to book a fishing trip on my boat in a month? Okay, and then I just put a number there. And of course I can change this. And the whole point is that the, it's gonna tell me my net income. Net means income like profit after expenses. Okay, and that's the big calculation I'm gonna do down here. So price per trip, that's how much I can charge the customers for a day out on the boat fishing. Uh, this is how much they are gonna pay me. And it's pretty, this is basically average, $1,200 for a day on the fishing boat. Normally you go with uh, like a group of four, maybe to six, you probably wouldn't have more than that on one boat. Has anyone ever done one of these? No. Okay. I did one last year with a few of the staff. You did? Yeah? Out on a boat? On the ocean? Where'd you go? Oh, cool. Oh, awesome. Okay, so I calculated my, what's called gross monthly income. This is not gross like, ooh, disgusting. This is, this means, Gross is a word that means before your expenses. So not counting your expenses, just what's how much money is coming in. And that, how did I calculate that? Great, you saw that up here in the, what's this area called? What is this? This is a formula. This area is the formula bar, yeah? And so what it displays, multiply it 
Eight times twelve hundred is ninety six hundred dollars or nine thousand six hundred dollars. Okay, and that's per month. But then, yeah, we have all, all of our costs that we're going to subtract, right? So I've got a staff cost per trip. I was imagining that I would be the captain on this boat. So I would go, I'd be the driver on every trip, but I need to pay somebody to help with the fishing. It can't, you can't just do it with one person. You gotta have somebody driving and then somebody handling all the lines and helping people reel fish in and find bait fish and all those things. So I was assuming I'd have to pay that person $150 per trip something around there okay uh the cost of diesel i talked to a guy who owns a boat and a fishing business and he said it's going to be around 250 or 300 dollars for the fuel for the day now that's depends on the size of the boat and how far you go and all that but um that's uh, just an estimate there okay and then i figured you're gonna have some other supplies you're gonna have to buy a bunch of ice you're gonna have to buy uh, maybe you want to, you know, get waters or some drinks or something for your guests. Maybe you're going to get some uh, motion sickness, things that you're going to just kind of have available to provide for your guests to make them more comfortable. Taxes. Um, I didn't actually include this here. Let's say you have to pay 12.5% um, uh, on your gross monthly income. So I don't actually know what the number is. I'm just making this up. So if I want to do 12.5% of my gross monthly income, first of all, I need 12.5%. Do you know how to calculate that as a decimal? 12.5% is 12 12.5%, but we want this as a decimal. Do you remember what percent means? It means over 100. Did someone say that? Over 100, right? This, that's kind of your one there, and then those are your two zeros. Okay? So I could just type that in, 12 and a half divided by 100, or I could type in a decimal, 12.5 divided by 100. This is a calculator. It can do that for me. And then I need to do times what? I said my gross monthly income? Times 9600. Should I type 9600? No, you don't Click on it. Very good. The reason being, if this changes, then so would this. Okay. So, oh, I said annual here. I should have said, I'll take out annual because this really would be monthly. If it's my gross monthly income. And I don't really know. I just made up that number 12 and a half percent. I don't actually know. Okay. Insurance. You're going to need to have insurance probably to cover accidents that might happen on your boat or if something gets something major gets damaged uh, so you don't have to pay for the whole thing i don't know uh, you know i'm again i just guessed 200 dollars a month i don't know it could be more it could be less um, and then i also guessed a number for maintenance you're going to have things that you do have to maintain and fix oil changes and things you have to do to your boat a uh, new propeller, you know, stuff you're going to have to... You should, can you click on... Mm -hmm. B12. This is where all the magic happens, okay? But before I click on it, I want to kind of walk this through. Let's talk about it on the board. Or maybe I'll type here. So what are we going to do? What are we going to start with? Yeah, we want to start with how much money is coming in, and then we want to subtract all of our expenses, right? So we're going to do gross monthly income minus loan payment minus, oops, how do I calculate my staff costs, guys? Times yeah, and why times eight? I want to make sure everyone understands this, Isaac. Owen, what do you think? Why is Navai saying multiply 150 times eight? We're working on our monthly income. How many trips per month am I saying I'm going to do? Eight. 
right? So if I pay some guy $150 every time, every trip, then it's eight times 150, right? Yes. That I need to subtract, okay? Yes. So eight times staff cost, okay? And that's great. I don't actually need to calculate it myself, right? It'll, I'll just put all that in here. Right now we're just kind of talking about what it is that we're gonna subtract. We also need to subtract the diesel per trip, which is, again, is gonna be times eight, right? Eight times diesel minus uh, supplies. Yeah. Minus taxes, it's already monthly, right? Minus insurance, it's already monthly. Minus maintenance. Okay, and now that number eight, of course, I'm not going to type the number eight in my formula. For all of these, I'm going to be clicking just to, to show where they go, right? So here it is. So I've got B4, that's gross monthly, minus B2, that's trips per month, times all of those uh, per trip expenses. That's the staff, the diesel, and the supplies. What I did is I just added all those together and multiplied them all by eight, okay? And then I'm subtracting that whole amount. And then I do minus B9, minus B10. I didn't do minus B8, so I need to include that. Minus B8. Okay, so this is saying I'm going to have a net profit of $2,800 per month. That's not very much. Well, if you think about my time, if I go on eight trips per month, that's like basically every weekend. Working eight days in a month and making $2,800, that's not too bad. It's maybe not. So every trip, I could just divide it by eight, right? If I wanted to see how much do I make per trip. Sure. Net income per trip is going to be equals this divided by this. So I'm going to profit $350 on a trip. It's not bad for a day's work, right? Now let's say, so here's the power of this. If, if I'm able to book more trips per month, let's say I can get up to 12. Now I'm making $4,800 per month. I'm making more per trip. Why am I making more per trip? Navai, what do you think? Well, just remember, some of my costs are per trip every time I go out, and some of them are monthly. They're fixed costs, right? So these ones down here are fixed costs, which means the more trips I do, the, the more efficient it is, right? If I have to pay every month $1,800 or you know, $200 and $1,000 for maintenance, and I'm only doing like one trip, I'm not gonna make any money, right? I'm gonna be losing money. But if I do a bunch of trips, then it makes it worth it, that maintenance cost. Wait, what about like 20 trips? Okay, let's show one trip. Now I'm losing $700. Oh. Okay, you, do you wanna operate a business that way? No. <laughs> no, you don't wanna be losing money, right? Okay. Two trips per month, still losing money. So, trying to reconnect. Oh, come on. Come on, internet. Does anyone have an internet dance for us? Oh, there we go. We're back. Okay. Three trips. Now, now I'm suddenly I'm profitable. But it's only $300 in a whole month. Okay, now if we want to get to Navai's 20 trips. But the thing is, it might be the case, if I'm doing that many trips, maybe my maintenance cost is going to go up because I'm using this boat way more. 
might be the case that I need to hire an additional staff, like another captain, because I don't want to do this many trips myself. All right, so maybe my staff costs are going to double, and that means my net income went down quite a bit, right? Because I have to pay somebody to do this for me. Okay. Um, you can play with other things, like what... That's not bad, yeah. What's something else that could change? Maintenance. Maintenance could change? Diesel. Diesel, right? The cost of fuel? The insurance of something happens, right? Possibly, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would say one of the riskiest parts here is the cost of fuel. My business is very dependent on diesel, right? And if that doubles in, in price, over you know a couple of years or something or let's say a war breaks out and that has an impact on supply and the markets so i'm changing diesel and look what happens oh. now my whole business is not profitable and so i have a couple of choices can i reduce my staff costs and do more myself can i charge people more can I say, hey, our, our costs have really gone up, so now it's going to be $1,500 per trip. And that puts me back in the right area where I'm making money, right? But these are all the things that a business owner has to decide. Anyway, the point of this is how do you use a spreadsheet to track income and expenses, right? So I've chosen to make these all positive numbers and then subtract the ones that are expenses. Sometimes people make these negative numbers and they add them. They just sum them all together. Uh, you can do either way, but I think probably this way is going to make more sense. Okay, so this is going to be, uh, what I want you to do today is to just make up a fake business. It could be anything you want. Maybe it's a bakery or something and you're going to make cookies or whatever you want it to be. And it's going to have some expenses and it's going to have some income. And then I want to see a net income at the end, which is your, your gross income. Like how much are you selling minus your costs? Okay. So that's your assignment today. Um, for your unit project, you'll be doing this with the garden. Okay. Wait, how did you get multi-check workers on your unit project?